At the Special Athletes Track Meet at Craig Kielberger, retired teacher Mike Harrison draws inspiration from these kids. So now this meet is really important because these kids are all working with incredible disabilities that they don't always know are disabilities. Mike was always physically active in coach elementary sports teams, but now he can understand these special athletes from a different perspective. They don't care if they win or lose and they all get rewarded and they are extremely appreciative of everything people do for them. And I have a special interest in it now because I'm a uh, special athlete myself and uh, just because of a, a recent uh, problem I had with my leg. Last year the 57 year old had an aneurysm in his leg that required an amputation. Honestly I woke up I knew I was going to have something gone. When I woke up I didn't know if it was going to be below the knee or above the knee. It depended on what the surgeon found when he was in there. So when I woke up and I found it was up here my first reaction was rats. And then about 10 seconds later, I was figuring out, let's get going here. We got to get better. He channeled his positive outlook towards his rehab at Hamilton General. For seven weeks, they have a wonderful program there. And by the time I left, I was able to walk on my own. And my goal was to be able to walk out of there by myself, play with my grandchildren and play golf. Students like Isha Khan look up to the retired teacher and learn from his perspectives on life. Well, he's very inspiring. He doesn't let the fact that his leg is amputated get to him. And it's, it's just really fascinating that a guy like him can stay so happy even though he has an inconvenience, as he likes to call it. The Burlington resident takes inspiration from the special athletes around him and chooses to focus on the positives. I just consider this an inconvenience. I just do everything I can do before slower. Uh, it doesn't hurt. Um, I'm not going to let it hurt me. And it doesn't really. I get a lot of support from everybody else, my family, my wife Wendy, and our sons Ben and Michael, and uh, all of our friends have been very, very helpful to me. And uh, it's just an inconvenience. It just takes me longer to do stuff. My spiking days in volleyball are over. I probably won't do rock climbing anymore, but I didn't do it before, so no loss. I can still play golf, so that's, that's, what, that's the most important thing. Reporting from Milton, for Halton Insider, I'm Hayden Narine.